because the pandemic has caused record high unemployment numbers. Today, Lindsay Jackson found out what resources are available in Indiana to those who are facing the challenge of being unemployed. As the coronavirus pandemic evolves, so do the unemployment numbers in the state of Indiana. And more and more workers are becoming increasingly concerned about when and where their next paycheck will come from. According to the Department of Labor, Indiana saw a decrease of 5,500 initial unemployment claims since last week, when more than 139,000 initial claims were filed. But officials at the Indiana Department of Workforce Development say it's an evolving situation. The more recent week that we have information for, which is, which is last week, not the week that we're in, the number dropped just slightly, uh, but still was the second highest week of, in recorded history, 130-some thousand claims for unemployment was were filed. So, you know, it, it continues to be uh, not just record highs, but off the chart record highs of numbers of initial claims filers. Certainly we hope to see that number uh, move down here in the coming weeks. Becky Burris works at her family's business, Mason Jewelry in Greencastle. She says she's growing more worried every day. Nothing's normal. You know, I, I'm not used to being home every day. I'm not used to having a job to go to. Burris says her family is concerned that the business may not survive after the pandemic is over. It's not big business, you know. It's not something where they're like, oh yeah, you're going to have a job in a few weeks as soon as this is listed. It's how many weeks of lost revenue are we going to be able to handle before things crumple? Tyler Brown, a bartender at a local restaurant and senior at ISU, shared similar concerns. He says he never imagined he would be in this situation. 23, I never thought I'd be filing for unemployment, so that was fun. Um, it was a bit of a hassle. The site's a little confusing. I don't think the time I applied for, which was about a month ago, they hadn't really updated anything, I don't think, to do with COVID. Brown has been out of work since March 18th and has been able to receive some emergency pay from his job. He says when filing for unemployment, he was worried he would put himself in an even tougher situation. I was worried at the end of it, I would have messed something up where I wouldn't have get, gotten the, um, the funding that I needed to help through all this and then I might end up owing the government money in the end. Richardson says although the times are unprecedented, there are resources available. Um, basically, if we generate an unemployment insurance payment for them, it adds $600 on top. So uh, for an in the average weekly benefit amount in Indiana is $300. For an individual who is calculated at that amount, they could receive $900 a week in unemployment benefits. He says as the situation evolves, the department is going to do what it can to help as many people as possible. And so we're going to continue to, to see these for at least another couple of weeks, but we're really looking forward to getting people back to work. Obviously, it'll be less of a strain on our resources, but more importantly, getting people back to that sense of normalcy, earning a regular paycheck um, and going on with their lives. And, and certainly hope to see Indiana's economy rebound. The department encourages those that are looking to file for unemployment to fill out the online application at their website at www.in.gov slash dwd. With local news that matters, I'm Lindsay Jackson, WTWO. Parts of Vincennes remain without power following Wednesday night's storm. Duke Energy continues.